Hello, my great people of our country, Nigeria. How on a day this morning, how on a day this afternoon, and how on a day this evening. The news what we won't bring come on our way now na politics. Politics matter now we won't carry con give una na for on a doorstep. I want to thank una for always joining us. That is our returning subscriber, always sharing and liking what we do here. If you are a new subscriber, you never subscribed to this channel before, I say thank you for browsing through and just click on the subscription icon so that as we drop news here, you go there among the first people to get the news. This news one won't bring on away now. Nah, Obas and John, nah, they talk now. Nah. They say make old generation, make them step aside. Make new generation take over. Old generation, old cargo, they say make them work hand in hand with the new generation, younger people, to say make things work for this country, Nigeria. Where the news take on, so I want to read that now. Nah. He say old generation should step aside now. Bas on John I they talk so our former go, uh, president of Nigeria, ex president Olusego Bas on John I they talk this matter now. He say we should all collaborate, not compete. He say make we not compete, may they not compete. The old old people, the way that they won't compete, may they not compete. May they collaborate with the young people to make this our Nigeria better for the upcoming election. He can't disclose fear about Boko Haram. He still talk about Boko Haram. But we talk on the way the matter to be now. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo on Monday, he can't call on the old generation of Nigerians to give way for the younger breeds in the building of a prosperous Nigeria. He said, may they give way to new, new breeds, make younger breeds, young blood, may they come rule Nigeria for us. According to him, rather than competition, the old generation should collaborate with the younger ones. If that's what they advise, they give their good advice on how to rule. May the old generation, they advise the young ones to rule our country well. He said, may they collaborate with the young ones and provide them with the requisite complex knowledge and experience to transform the country for better. Obasa just stated this in his capacity as chairman of the occasion while speaking virtually at the 2022 annual lecture of the Motala Mohammed Foundation with the team beyond Boko Haram. Addressing his surgency, banditry, and kidnapping across Nigeria during the event, guest speaker, which is the governor of Ekiti State, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, suggested a national response to stem the tide of insecurity in Nigeria. He can suggest a main national response day to cool down insecurity. Say the insecurity for Nigeria not too much. Now, Kayode Fayemi, they talk this one. Can I be the guest speaker for the day? Say the way where we say, they go fit stop insecurity for Nigeria and make national response as they respond. May they respond, the national people, national government, may they respond quickly so that they go fit stop the tide of insecurity. Also, the CEO of MMF, Aisha Mohammed Oyebode, said the organization was committed to improve the socioeconomic development of Africa in line with the dreams of her father and late head of state, General Motala Mohammed. And Motala Mohammed Pekin and they talk that so for inside the matter. So the Motala Mohammed Pekin self constantly talks say through his program, the MMF program, he has made notable impact in the lives of people, especially the marginalized, disadvantaged, and vulnerable, in addition to contributing to promoting good governance and empowerment in line with his vision and mission. Obasanjo, in a veiled reference to the old generation of politicians jostling for the presidency of Nigeria in the 2023 election, was responding to the lecture by Fayemi that he was in secondary school when he and the late Motala Mohammed directed the affairs of the country. Say Fayemi go to secondary school when Motala Mohammed and himself, Olushegu, come to direct the affairs of the country. Say that I, in a very small picking. The former president said we need to have an intergenerational collaboration. Now we say not only one side, they say intergenerational. The collaboration with the intergenerational. Fire me said it was in primary school when Motala and Obasanjo were there. So if people of Motala and Obasanjo are competing with you as governor, then something is wrong. He said the time he said that Obasanjo said they ruled Nigeria for the military regime, saying they primary school. Then if the same age of that same kind of age people still they won't compete when he don't be governor, I be say something they wrong for our country, Nigeria. Say Motala Ambassador Group should be stepping aside. People when they don't old reach their age, may they step aside, making younger people come up to rule. Whatever experience and knowledge you have, 
we should be able to give it to you and should be able to give it to those coming after you so that whatever you have you are passing it down to those of you who are coming behind not to start competing with you but make you have access to what would make you nigeria better you find it ambassador blame insecurity in the country on the access to weapons after the nigeria civil war he said the the country now when we say war fighting and killing insurgency day everywhere he said the way they blame her now after civil war when the country release all those plenty plenty gone then enter the country and so the thing take on happen when we say insurgency not good stop again for nigeria the former president also said that his fear about boko haram had materialized with their links with international terrorist organization he said the way they fear the the boko haram matana he said they don't marginalize they don't join hand with international terrorist organization not be only there for you they work again that they work hand in hand with international terrorists so he said the thing they fear her where were the thing they baffle her say in over short say insurgency go end for this country where we take see him now so we take bring her coming away so now basta just they talk now he said make old cargo may they give way to new people to take over and they still they fear, I say, because Boko Haram now they don't they get support from the international body. So you know who know whether this crisis of insurgency will end any soon. When our God and I go deliver us. I go see you now for our next video. And thank you for sharing and liking what we do here. Bye bye.